Okay, so in today's video, what I want to talk about is a proof that I've stumbled across while I was actually trying to come up with another proof for the fact that the derivative of the logarithm is 1 over x. Now, if you've studied this quite a lot, if you've studied mathematical analysis and things like that, typically the way you define the logarithm is as the integral of 1 over x, and then you show that you know the logarithm, when you give this as the definition, it satisfies the various properties. For example, log a b is log a plus log b and so on. The proof that I've been wanting for this is one in which you don't have to do separate things when you do the logarithm in comparison with when you differentiate or integrate polynomials. So for example, what I mean by this is, so if I take the function x to the n, where n is some integer that's not one, then I can integrate that using the rule x to the n plus one over n plus one, and that gives you the antiderivative, all right? But of course that breaks down if n is equal to minus one, and I'd like a way of somehow merging from both ends, so you approximate from n being very negative up to minus one, and approximate from above and being quite large and positive going down to minus one and somehow the logarithm should appear. Now, this argument may be elementary, and perhaps I just haven't thought about it enough, but I can't, I can't seem to, to get this argument out the way I like it to be done. And in the course of that, I managed to stumble across a different proof, one that just requires the chain rule and knowing the fact that the exponential and the logarithm are inverses. And that's the proof I'm going to present today. It is very elementary. It's, it's in my opinion, quite slick. I, I like this proof, so let's get into it. So here's the way that I'm gonna prove that the derivative of the logarithm is one over X. So we know that the derivative of the exponential is itself. And now by the chain rule, if I take the exponential of any function F, assuming F is differentiable, I know that the derivative of e to the f is f prime of x times e to the f of x. Now, if I take f to be the logarithm, then the exponential of f is just the exponential of the logarithm. Since they're inverses of each other, we return the function x. If I take now the derivative of e to the f of x, that must be the same as the derivative of x. But of course, the derivative of x is just 1. So now what we have is that 1 is the derivative of e to the log x, but by the chain rule, this is just the derivative of the logarithm times e to the log x. e to the log x, of course, again, is just x. So what we're left with now is x times the derivative of the logarithm. But if 1 is equal to x times the derivative of the logarithm, the derivative of the logarithm has to be 1 over x. And that's it. That's the elementary argument here. 